Hi, I'm Max Walker-Williams and today we are doing a product review. So uh, I have to say straight up the front that this isn't an endorsement. I haven't been paid anything for this. I, I will be giving you a discount code if you want to buy your own products, but I don't get a referral fee. So basically how this came about is I read an article about uh, ferrofluid, found it really interesting, and the geek in me couldn't help it. I went on Google to find out if you could buy any gadgets or products that utilize the ferrofluid technology. And sure enough, I came across MTR Design. Very, very cool company, merging science and art together, and they come up with these incredible products. So I bought, with my own money, I bought these, they didn't send them to me for free or anything like that. I bought them, I bought the uh, Ferroflow, the Rise, and the Spike. So I'll be showing you all three of those. Christmas is around the corner. I highly recommend if you, your friends, your family, if you've got anyone who's a bit of a geek, loves a gadget, this is a perfect present and I'm pretty sure they won't have seen anything like it before and you'll see a genuine smile on their face when they open your gift. So, okay, I'm gonna start with the entry level product. Um, I, there's a couple of warnings as well, which I'm gonna be giving you. Uh, in the link, in the, in the description below, there's a link to MTR Design's website if you wanna have a look after this video. And I also put a code in there because what happened was I emailed them saying, hi guys, listen, love your products, love your stuff. I'm gonna be doing a YouTube's video just talking about the products. Um, will you offer my, my brilliant viewers a discount? And they said, yeah, no problem at all. We'll give you a referral code. They offered me some money of your spending. I said, no, give it all to the, to the viewers. So if you put the code in the description below this video, if you put that into the website, you automatically get 10% off. I get nothing, you get 10% off. So uh, I didn't even get 10% off my own order. So a bit of a geeky bit just before we get into the products themselves. I don't really want to bore you with loads of detail because it doesn't really matter for the purposes of this product review, but it's interesting to know, I think. So ferrofluid, invented by a guy called Steve Papel in 1963. Um, Steve worked over at NASA. And basically NASA, and I wouldn't want to be the guy who found this out, by the way, but uh, who found this out the hard way. It, when you think about it, have you ever seen a video of astronauts trying to drink water in space? They're like blobs floating through the air and they sort of grab them and bite them. Well, um, rocket fuel is no different. So you've got the fuel in the, uh, in the, in the uh, engine and it's got to be fed into the fuel pump. But if it's floating around inside the, the fuel tank, then it's not reaching the pump. So Steve was tasked with coming over, overcoming this problem and one of the uh, best ways and simplest ways and surefire ways of fixing this problem in zero gravity is to obviously make the fluid magnetic, then make the fuel pump a magnet and it would draw in the fuel as and when it needs it. So that's what he did. And that's what essentially um, ferrofluid is. It's actually rocket fuel that's magnetized. So uh, yeah, so NASA wanted a rocket fuel that would feed a fuel pump in zero gravity. Uh, it's a colloidal liquid made of nanoscale uh, ferromagnetic uh, uh, fluid suspended in a carrier fluid, usually water. I think these have got like an oily texture to them. I don't know if that's the glass, um, but they're either water or a very light oil, which you sort of lets the fluid sit in it. Uh, and basically in plain English, this basically means that this is fluid with tiny, tiny, tiny little microscopic. That's what nano means. Nano just means very, very small. Nanoscale, very small, uh, ferromagnetic, which basically just means magnetic bits uh, that obviously react to magnets. So what that means is you've got a fluid sat in water that reacts to magnets, but it reacts really cool the way it spikes and stuff. And then you can make lava lamp type-esque um, products like the ferroflow and that you get some really cool reactions. So that's sort of a little bit behind it. I've just put here, yeah, by MTR Designs. I'll put that again, I'll put that link in the description below. And the clock is so cool. That's what I'm saving up for. Once uh, HBAR, Hadira Hashcroft's HBAR goes to, goes to the moon, I'm definitely gonna be buying one of the Ferroflow clocks because they are so, so cool. Um, have a look at the clock. In fact, I'll put a link to the YouTube video of their clock. It's amazing, but it's seven and a half thousand quid. So it's a lot of money but very cool. Okay, so let's jump straight into it. So we'll start with Spike. Spike is the uh, entry level. Uh, in fact, actually, just before I jump into this, word of warning. Word from the wise, you have to be very, very careful with these products. With all of them, it's all the same. They stain the glass really, really easily. I'd go as far to say that um, it's a bit of a design flaw. It's not MTR design's fault. It happens with all, all uh, these products, it's the fluid itself. Um, and there's no way really that I know of around it. I've looked into it. But if you lay them on their side for too long, in transit it's fine because they never sit still for too long, but if you lay them on their side for days and days, or you put a magnet up against them and leave it there for too long, they do stain. 
So, you know, they're not pro cheap products, so just bear that in mind. I'm just showing you on camera too, just showing you that stain there, so you can see it really ruins the effect, and there is no way of getting it off. So this is a magnet, look, it doesn't, it doesn't come off. If anything, it just makes it worse. So this one is ruined. Now, the guys at MTR Design are real sweethearts, and long before they knew I was on YouTubes, I asked them, just, you know, as a member of the public, I said, look, I didn't know, I've left it on his side, and they sent me another one free of charge. So that was really kind of them. So that's one thing to bear in mind. Okay, so starting with the spike, which is the entry level, small little uh, pod here. It's quite um, small and nimble. You can take it sort of around with you. Um, it's got this very cool, uh, they sell, by the way, they sell five different colors and this, or six different colors, and this is the red, and you can see how cool that is on camera two there. Um, so, really, really nice. And Billy's done some really cool um, close-ups, so we'll cut those in now and show you what this does when it reacts to a magnet. But I'm gonna do that now, and then we'll zoom in as well. But look at that, how cool that is. It's so, I can't get over it, it's so much fun. I can't describe, and then the best bit is, if you turn the magnet around, it pushes the, it pushes the uh, liquid away. So really, really cool stuff, and it's just hours of fun. And uh, it makes a different patterns, and the way it kind of just sloshes back and takes its original form is just so cool. So I'm pretty sure when Steve invented this at NASA, he didn't, he really wasn't thinking kids' toy, but some of the best toys known to man have been, like, for example, Play-Doh, Play-Doh, um, was it used in uh, wallpaper painting and decorating originally, and then became a, a, a sort of child's toy uh, much later. So this is another one of those kind of happy accidents. Very cool. So that's the, that's the uh, spike. It's the entry level one. It's not too expensive at all. And um, yeah, you just need, it comes in a magnet and a little box, and then you can just have a little mess about. But unless you interact with it, it doesn't do anything itself. So you have to physically mess about with it or it won't do anything. Next one up is the rise. So the rise is cool. Um, you can put, so I've got this one in a different color again, so you can have a look. Uh, it's in a bluey, this one. So you can see there, it's a blue. Now if we put this on like that, I'll get all this blue down here on a sec, there we go. So now you can see it's sloshing around and then it spikes at the top. How cool is that? So, and you can turn it and they all, it all spins. And then you pull away and it holds its magnetic field a little bit. And then you can intensify it with the base. Now, the other one, like this, this is unfortunately the one that's stained. What's cool about this is, when you stick the magnet on the bottom, look at the way it spins. How cool is that? And it's rising up the pole, or certainly giving the illusion that it's rising up the pole. So put it on the top and then turn it upside down, and watch this. See the way it's spinning around and dropping off? Very, very cool. So you can have this on your desk at work, in your office, wear it in the kitchen, and it just you just let, set it and forget it. So you just put it down like this, and then it'll just, sp and if you can see, yeah, you can see that on the camera, can't you? You're just spinning around and just let it spin away, and it'll spin for ages and then eventually it'll run out and then you just turn it around the other way and voila sorry please excuse this that massive ugly stain so and then voila so that's so cool and that's the um that's the rise so that's the rise one and now the piece de la resistance this is sort of their top you know aside from the clock this is their top sort of piece and this is the um ferroflow by MTR Design, and I got this one in a gold. So look how cool that is. And even this one, look, it's got a little stain. And that, that's actually happened while I've had the product. So you re I can't emphasize enough, somebody um, in the office, it was in the box on my desk, upright like this, and somebody has laid it down and then left it there, and it's been there for two or three days, and then that's the end result. And there's no way of getting it off. It's, it's heartbreaking, to be honest, um, but there we go. I'm sure you'll look after yours a lot better. Um, so beautiful gold. Baby Max is going to be gutted because he absolutely adores this. I think I've passed on some of the geek in me to him. And as a nine-year-old boy, there isn't much cooler 
than ferrofluid. So you can just see that there. Right, so this one's actually a plug-in device. So I'm gonna plug it in. And let's see what happens. I think it's pretty cool. In fact, I'm actually gonna move this camera like this. And we're gonna get in right in close because you'll see the moment it, the electricity comes on. Um, so let me just, oh. Right, and now we're gonna have a look at the best item they've got other than the, the clock, obviously. We're gonna have a look at the MTR Designs Ferroflow. So this is the only one that's plugged in. It's actually connected to the mains electric. And we're gonna plug it in and You'll see, well, I'll shut up in a second, and then you'll hear it start. Wait, listen to this, one sec. Listen to this. See that? And see the way it's gone all spiky at the top? Very, very, very cool. And now, you'll see it starts to change as the magnet starts to relax, look, and it drops down. Once it's all dropped down and filled this, there's just enough fluid in the base, to, there's just enough fluid in the base to shoot back up to the top, but so that you're not waiting for ages, because it does take a while, I'm gonna give you guys the full show. So let's get all of this at the bottom, turn it upside down, and then we can watch. Watch how cool this is. So at the moment, the electrics up, the magnets are really strong look. And now it's starting to weaken off, and you can just see, oh, that's so cool. So cool. And by the way, this, this ink is the, is the gold one. And you can put a light through it. If you shine an LED light through it, really, really cool. It shows off the colors a bit more. Um, in fact, I'm gonna grab one. So you can see there, guys, look at that, how cool that is. You can just see the flakes in the fluid changing. I'm just gonna start it again. So I'm gonna so that we don't have to wait because it has to have the perfect amount of fluid in the base before um, it'll all suck back up. So rather than waiting for that to happen, let's just see it drop down again. <laughs> so cool. So it's kind of raining gold. You can just see it. It's a little bit, it's like a cross between a lava lamp and a snow globe. And you can just see the spikes there, look. So the, the electricity's intensity is going up and it's getting a little, really, really, really tight, really tight little spikes and then it sl slackens off. Yeah, and that's a substantial amount of movement if you think about it. You kind of saw there how much the, the movement there was in the liquid. And then look, it loosens off, loosens off, and then drops down. And then it keeps doing that until this fills, and then up, back up to the top, and away we go, all over again. Very, very cool. But like I said, if you are gonna buy one of these, be very careful. Do not lay it down for long periods of time and do not stick magnets next to the glass. Otherwise you will end up with this horrible staining. So that's it. If anybody has one of these or has experience of ferrofluid, then by all means, please get in touch and, um, and let me know if there is a way of cleaning this glass. I have asked MTR Designs and they've said there isn't, so I'm pretty sure they're the experts. But you never know, some of my viewers are very, very intelligent indeed. So they'll be able to say, actually, if you do this, this, and this, it'll clean the glass. And I'd love to know because, yeah, I'd, I'd love to give them to Baby Max without the stains on them. But it is what it is. Anyway, I hope you've enjoyed this video. It's something a bit different. Um, and it's just something that, yeah, it's a little bit geeky, but I think they're really, really cool. I don't want to be a big, long, drawn out uh, video. It doesn't need to be. But it's a very cool product. With Christmas around the corner, I just thought you guys might be interested. Link in the description below. Check out the um, Ferroflu clock, because that is seriously cool. Thanks ever so much for watching. See you again soon.